invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. I'll go around to see her Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? The statesman, because he's so great, he thinks he's trade as honest as mine. A lawyer is an honest opinion, so is mine. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity, both against Roach and for him. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats, since we live by him. Sir, Black Maul, that sick word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gay, sir, is found guilty. My lazy dog! When I took him the time before, I told him what would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. Forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her. I already have. Well, I can get more by her staying in. Oh, nice. Betty hath brought more goods into our lofty year than any five of the gang. And in truth, tis a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may in the A thousand pardons. My apologies. I love to let women escape. A good sportsman always lets the end far to his fly, because the breed of the game depends on it. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There is nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman. It was to her I was obliged for my education. And to say a bold word, she hath trained up four young fellows to the business and the gaming table. Truly built, thine observation is right. We and the surgeons are more beholden to women than all the professions besides. So, Black Wall, that sick word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy that I'll stop the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may mention the Tom Gag. <laughs> Love like 
Certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes. Hey, Ethel. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. It's worth. I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that to be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. 
were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Yeah, my